replacemat waltz, cello three. You have a constantly changing rhythm, but the rhythms are all very simple in this part. You need to know half note, two beats, quarter note, one beat, dotted half note, three beats. And if you know all of those things, you'll be able to count your way through this like a madman. Um, the only exception is the weird thing that has to happen at the end of the A section. Sorry, you can't even see the repeat sign at the end of the second line. But there's a repeat sign. It's just buried in the middle of your folder. I apologize. Um, next time I print anything, uh, we're going to have margins that work better. And that's just my fault. I think everything else looks pretty good. But uh, this is a mistake, and I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, at the end of the A section, you have this dotted quarter note tied to a dotted quarter note in the B section. That's one and a half plus one and a half beats, which is three beats. You're not going to hear it as being anything, um, anything unusual. Just pretend it's three beats. It, it is three beats. Don't have to pretend. Okay, I dare you to count out loud while you play this. Um, that might be your challenge. This is all in first position, and you're just getting to know lots of notes. You need to know these notes if you're going to play cello too, because that's the melody, and it uses, of course, it uses the same scale, but it uses even more notes. Uh, oh, uh, the, the melody, you can see here, because you can see the cello two part, but whoever is playing the melody, maybe including cello two, um, they start one and a half beats before you come in. So you can see that you have, you, you have some rests. Um, it's going to sound like this, and you don't need to think about it any beyond this. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, one, ba-ba, boom. Ba-ba, boom. And if you can do, if you can do ba-ba, boom, and your boom is where you play, then you're going to be fine. One, two, three, one, ba ba boom. section. That's the cello three. 